Hello everyone, this is Owen Fox, your humble servant and fellow co-creator of this world. And in this video I want to ask the question, is the teaching of non-resistance, is there a flaw in it? And in my experience I feel there may be a flaw, because I made a video yesterday about the fundamentals of having a positive, prosperous and feel-good life, okay? And I'll put that video here so you can watch if you're interested by the river. Um, and one I didn't mention, like a fundamental is about like accepting and letting your emotions to flow. Like if ever you're triggered, a trauma arises, allow yourself to feel. And I read a, 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 video, um, a blog by Teal Swan, who's a, a growing, pretty famous uh, self-healing and self-development teacher, also. And she was just talking about being present and being unconditionally accepting and loving and embracing of a trauma or a trigger that arises and instead of trying to avoid it or run away from it like or distracting yourself which most people do with drugs television substance abuse overeating sex unhealthy sexual relationships uh, all sorts of ways to distract yourself when you feel bad or else lashing out and being really unconscious and causing more pain what you really want to do is do the opposite you want to go into the feeling you want to dive deep dig dig in you want to be there with your emotion when you feel upset so you want to go inward in a meditative state and there's various techniques or little like ways you can go about doing that such as like when I was in Malaysia I used to be on the bus and I felt safe I felt comfortable I used to like just remember I used to, I used to want I tried and I successfully changed my dreams from having anxious scary hiding and being chased dreams regularly enough to gone forever never came back 100% gone imagine that that's pretty cool basically 100% you know we all have the once every few months little scary dream possibly but that's all that's left so what I did was I, I went back into my childhood and I remembered the scary and like sad or bad memories and I just like pr felt the emotions that I didn't really process then as a child. I didn't know how to do it and I just let the pain be felt and I let some tears surface and I did it with unconditional love and acceptance and a sense of embracing. So getting back to resistance in our life like let's say the problem with resistance or the idea of non-resistance like Eckhart Tolle taught about like non-judgment non-resistance and non-attachment and in the video yesterday I talked about non-attachment and non-judgment is a confused term also which people think is like you don't discern what's right or wrong or good or bad for you etc or in the world but the thing is we can deny and suppress our true emotions and feelings when we try and practice non-resistance for example if somebody's like robbing all of our flowers or like breaking them and all are we supposed to like non-resist and feel okay with that me to a degree and everybody you're suppressing your your true feelings of upset, hurt, pain and anger and even and often frustration. And things are happening in your life. If you're trying to practice being a holy like saint monk, like practicing non resistance. You that there's a scale. On one end you don't be too flighty and jumping to getting agitated and annoyed with everybody and everything. That's like that's ludicrously unbalanced, okay? Then the other scale is practicing non-resistance to the extreme where you're pretending and suppressing everything, where you're okay with everything. It's like on the pure physical surface level, like whatever, if someone's beating up somebody or like doing really hurtful and corrupt, even deadly things to other people, you know, actually you're supposed to have a peace and happiness in your heart with that. That's like not true. That's not nice, it's not good, it's not healthy in my opinion. We should it's a natural human response to have emotions and in, in the case of these situations where there's like injustice and hurt being caused we have a natural tendency to care for ourselves and other people okay like if a woman falls in the street we have a tendency to pick them up if they're like old like if there's a natural disaster everyone springs to each other's help people care for each other it's all the fears and blocks that stop us from caring and loving each other so we have a natural tendency to have emotions 
against these like hurtful acts of like you know rape robbery just being non-loving often when a, someone or a partner or a friend or a family be non-loving when they're just simply non-loving and we feel like they're not considering or caring for us that can hurt us and to try and practice non-resistance I don't know I just don't resonate with that anymore at all I resonate with tuning into your heart taking maybe 20 to 30 big deep breaths to try center and calm down a little bit because shallow breathing is related to stress deep breathing is related to calmness being present and centered in the moment and having a sense of perspective and being able to be in your heart more to be more rational and as I said productive and healthy in your heart and take a good response to the situation so this video is about not suppressing your emotions and learning how to understand and learn from and deal with anger and other emotions, okay? That some of us call negative. They're actually helpful. They're messengers to teach us and show us about ourselves as a human divine spirit and being. And to teach us how we can act and respond to these emotions based on these situations, okay? So I'm going to put a video here which is like something like five essential ways to understand, learn from and deal with anger. I think it's a really, I really like this video, I think it's good, simply to put, and I made it in La Palma in the Canary Islands around six months ago. And Zumi, my partner, who I love and respect a lot, she shot it, she, she did the video. So it is my hope and intention that this video helps you to be more okay with your human negative emotions. That we just call them negative as a word, but they're not bad in any way. But how we express and understand them determines whether or not they have a positive influence and effect in our lives and in the lives of other people who we express our emotions around or onto. So, I'd say rather than try and practice non-resistance, I try practice deep breathing, Calm, calm, pausing and slowing down your response. Tuning into your heart to care for another person's pain and hurt and why they're behaving the way they're behaving. Take a break before you respond a bit. Become a little bit more present in the moment. Look at yourself and your feelings of wanting to hurt another person in retaliation. Try and understand others and try and understand yourself and your own needs and wishes in life from your heart. Your own heartfelt deep down wishes for like peace, love, compassion, fairness, kindness, friendship, underst understanding each other. So I want you and me to become a human being where we are okay with our ups and downs in life and our mood fluctuations without judging ourselves and therefore not judging other people also of their ups and downs. So the hard part is when someone else resists us or attacks us and becomes unconscious. Our part, our job now is to not to do the same, to become instead conscious and present, look in their eyes, be in our heart and watch our tone of voice. And it's not something you can just do and I don't do it all the time either. I'm not going to pretend I'm better than you or a saint. I'm a lear We're all learn learning and a work in progress. So it's all about reminding ourselves and reminding each other. So in this video, this just simply serves as a reminder for you and a reminder for me also <laughs> because I forget too and I lose the plot sometimes and it's about not losing the plot as often as deeply, yeah, as much or as, as much so, thank you for your time. I hope this video has been very valuable to you. 
It is my intention that it serves you in your life and be very valuable to help you have a better life, a happier life, a more peaceful life, a freer life and a more fulfilling life for you and you in relation to your loved ones and with your loved ones, for them too. So, If anyone wants to learn more about me and my life or my past or connect for one-to-one -one coaching, body, mind, spirit with me, or to get any herbs, superfoods, or enzymes, or essential oils to nourish your body vessel, please have a look in my links below the video. For also for other suggested videos or resources to help you in your life. I wish you a beautiful day, and thank you for being you. And keep let's all keep being ourselves to the best and highest of our ability, little by little, with the ups and downs naturally occurring also. Okay, see everyone. Have a nice day. Thanks for all the love and support. Much love. Bye.